Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out some new lip products that recently launched that I've been eyeing for a good little minute just because, you know, I love a good nude lip color and I also love like a chocolate brown lip shade. So I figured I'd pick up the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth Lipsticks. They came with six different shades. I picked up five different lip colors that we're going to be trying on it today and we're just going to see what are the undertones like, what is the consistency like, how does it feel on the lips. It basically, they run for $15. It's supposed to be a soft, velvety matte finish, hydrating, creamy, super pink pigmented long wearing it also has hyaluronic acid infused in the formula so i hope you guys enjoy it today's video everything i talk about in today's video will be linked down below in the description box in order please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really does help out my channel and as always let's jump on in and try them on starting off on our first lip shade this is called clay described on their website as a warm rust lip shade and let me tell you it's so so pretty it definitely gave me like fall winter pumpkin spice vibes and i absolutely Absolutely love it. I think it's so so pretty. I feel like it's gonna work really well with my skin complexion. I definitely feel like this is really nice and bold, but it, obviously you can do the pigmentation if you really want to. If you want it to be a little bit more subtle, but so far swatching the back of my hand, you guys, it glided on effortlessly, literally like butter, and it definitely has like a really pretty soft matte finish, which I'm really excited to see how it looks on and how it applies on my lips. But so far it's looking really nice. As for the packaging, this is basically you guys. It feels really lightweight. It is made out of plastic, but I do love the ombre packaging to it as well. We are receiving a generous amount. I feel like this will last you a really long time, and I do really love the imprint that's all around the tube of lipstick. It's really cool, very different. As for a scent, let me tell you, girl, it definitely has a scent, but it's really lightly fragranced, so it's not something that you're going to notice right away unless you get really close to the lipstick, but if I had to describe the scent, I would say it smells like vanilla and in the best way. It smells really, really nice, really soft, which you guys know I personally really love. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the lip combo that I currently have on and in case you're interested, I will have it linked down below in the description box and then we'll jump on in and try on clay. Go ahead and start in the center of my lips. And so far, look how pigmented it is. It looks so, so pretty on. I feel like it's going to look so beautiful. Like, if you don't like something that's too red and bold, like a traditional classic red lipstick, I feel like it might end up really liking <laughs> this one. So I'm going to go ahead and press my lips together. And so far, it applies on really nicely and really evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and finish applying on this lip shade. Clay is such a pretty lip shade. I really like this lip color on. It looks so, so pretty. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. Again, I feel like this is a perfect lip shade to wear during the fall winter time. Obviously, you can wear any of these lip shades any time of the year, but I absolutely love the creamy consistency, you guys. It's really creamy, feels really hydrating, but at the same time, like I feel like I don't have anything on. It feels nice and velvety and soft. But yeah, it feels really lightweight and I honestly feel like a little bit of product goes such a long way that this could essentially last you like a really long time. And I also want to point something out to you because even though I swatched this lip shade on the back of my hand and it's obviously really pigmented, it did not leave a stain on the back of my hand, which is perfect because sometimes when you're changing like lip colors, like say for instance you apply one lip shade but then you change your mind and you want to kind of apply something else on, sometimes it leaves a stain and it kind of like changes the tone of lip colors. But this one doesn't leave a stain so that is perfect, which I personally really like. So let's move on to lip shade number two. The second lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on. This lip shade is called Morocco. It sounds very exotic. Absolutely love it. Described on the website as a warm chestnut brown lip shade. And let me tell you guys, it is. It's so, so pretty. I feel like it's going to work really well with my skin complexion. I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade. Like you can obviously layer this on if you really want it to be pigmented, but you can easily dilute the pigmentation and just, you know, have a little something something on your lips so I absolutely love it I feel like you can definitely wear this a day or night I would pair this lip shade with like a chocolate brown lip liner more of like a taupey kind of like bare what is it called rare breed lip liner from MAC that's would be perfect just something that's a little lighter than this but at the same time add a little bit more dimension and kind of you know Add a little subtleness to this lip shade but it's really really pretty and so far i'm really excited to apply on so let's go ahead and jump on in and apply on morocco i'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that you guys so pretty love the undertone i already know i'm gonna end up really loving this lip shade so <laughs> let me go ahead and press my lips together i'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this on morocco morocco you know i love this lip shade i think you already know that it looks so so pretty on i feel like it works really well with my skin complexion you can honestly wear 
this lip color by itself just because it's just so pretty I don't feel like you need to add anything more to this lip shade but it was really nice really easy to apply on and glide it on effortlessly love the velvety soft matte finish that it has it's super hydrating it feels really lightweight like you don't feel like you have anything on and it doesn't feel over drying it was just really easy to apply on and so far I feel like it's really nice because this will last you again such a long time because I feel like it doesn't take very much to get a nice you know clean application and so far it didn't have any patchiness or anything like that so let's move on to lip shade number three this is called Nile described on their website as a golden warm brown lip shade and look at that you guys it is so so pretty i feel like i'm gonna end up really liking it and i really love the creamy consistency it's gliding on effortlessly it doesn't look patchy in any way it feels really creamy so watching the back of my hand i feel like this is the perfect everyday type of lip shade obviously depending on what your personal preference is and again you can definitely layer this on if you want it to be really pigmented or dilute the pigmentation to it and i would wear actually a lip liner probably wear like global citizen from nyx to pair it with this lip shade just because I feel like it looks so, so pretty together and add a little something, a little bit depth to this lip shade. I absolutely love Global Citizen, by the way. It is so pretty, but I absolutely love this lip shade and I'm really excited to apply it on. So let's go ahead and jump on in and apply on Nile. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that, super pigmented. Pressing my lips together, it applies on and transfers over really nicely and evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this on. Nile, it's so pretty. Love how it works with my skin complexion. I find it to be very unique lip shade. I don't feel like I have anything like this in my collection. And I feel like I just can, I can definitely see myself wearing this again. I feel like this is a perfect day or night type of lip shade. I love the consistency again. It feels really lightweight, powdery, velvety, and soft. I feel like I don't have anything on. It just feels really comfortable and I love how pigmented it is you guys like literally it doesn't take very much for it to show up which is perfect so let's move on to lip shade number four this is called Nubian sand and let me tell you girl it is a beautiful sand nude and I absolutely love this lip shade I gravitate towards lip colors like this lately a lot and I can definitely see myself wearing this I feel like it's gonna look so pretty on my skin complexion this is a perfect day or night lip shade just depending on the mood you can also pair this lip shade with global citizen again that's the lip color and combo that I was wearing earlier when I was filming in this video and I absolutely love how they look together they look really really nice on but you can definitely get really creative you can also use like a taupey lip liner I feel like taupey lip liners always you know work really well with my skin complexion so that's why I always bring it up so let's go ahead and jump on in and try on Nubian Sand so you can see, you know, what it's all about by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look at that, you guys. So pigmented, really, really creamy, and it transfers over really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this on. Nubian Sand, so pretty, absolutely love it. I feel like it kind of like washes me out a little bit. Like I feel like it's probably good looking like my skin complexion, but with a lip liner, the Global Citizen from NYX, the long wearing one, it's so pretty. It definitely gives a little bit more dimension and I absolutely love pairing them together. But this is basically it and I really love the consistency again. It feels really lightweight, really pigmented, really creamy, but at the same time it has a really nice velvety soft matte finish, which I personally really love. And I noticed no patchiness, no feathering, or anything like that applying on the zip color it was applying on really nicely and evenly which I personally really like so let's move on to lip shade number five the last kind of lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on this is called soil described on their website as a soft toned yellow red lip shade and let me tell you it is definitely a yellow red it almost looks kind of like an orangey corally type of lip shade but in a way it also doesn't it's really really pretty i don't know if i'm gonna like it on me but i definitely feel like it's a beautiful spring summertime lip shade especially if you like something a little bit more vibrant so far it's looking really creamy really creamy very pigmented i absolutely love it and i feel like this will actually work really well with my skin complexion actually so i'm really excited to see you know how it looks on who knows maybe you'll end up really liking it <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump on in and apply on soil i'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and so far it's really pigmented soil soil surprisingly is really pretty i actually really like it on i would definitely 
wear this lipstick with like more of a taupey brown just to lose the pigmentation a little bit and just kind of give it a little bit more warmth. <laughs> but overall, it's really, really pretty. I can definitely see myself wearing this on a night out with my girlfriends. If I'm gonna go on a date night, I feel like this is perfect. Very bold, but really still sexy. And I love the tone. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. And again, you guys, the creamy consistency, the soft velvety matte finish, the creamy hydration of it. It just feels really lightweight. Like I literally don't feel like I have anything on. And I have applied on and removed these lip shades four, five, four, four different times so far. <laughs> and so for my lips, it do not feel like over drying or anything like that. So, so far, so good. $15. Is it actually worth picking up the lipsticks? I definitely feel like it is. I love the price point, $15. I love the packaging to it. I love the soft vanilla scent that it has. And I really love the creamy consistency. I feel like they did a really great job picking out these shades. I feel like everyone can essentially find something that works really well for them, especially if you like something a little bit more bold, if you like something a little bit more neutral, more like an everyday type of lip shade, I definitely feel like you'll find at least two in this collection that you'll end up really liking. But so far, I'm really impressed with the formula and absolutely love this collection. I'm so happy that I picked it up to got to try it out for myself. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Is it long wearing? To be really honest, I'm not really sure. Let me quickly do a little transfer test because I know it's not supposed to be like transfer proof, but who knows, maybe, okay, it does transfer over. So I feel like maybe in the sense it would be long wearing in a way that it's not gonna like literally disappear for such a long time, but stay tuned for one of my monthly fave and fills because I'll keep testing this out and let you guys know if it is long wearing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything I use will be linked down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. Thank you so much if you watched this video this far. I honestly, truly appreciate it and have a beautiful day, you guys. I love you all so, so much. Bye.